Hey everyone, I'm Milan and I am here today with an update on my 21 day smartphone detox journey. Today I feel great. Today's the first day that I decided to get up off the couch and move and run <laughs> to help me manage the stress and the anxiety and the frustration that comes along with not having my smartphone um, at my beck and call. Also, one thing I did not mention was that this is not just a smartphone detox for me. This is a tablet detox. I don't really use my tablet a ton, but I have not used that, that for five days today. Um, it's also an Instagram detox. I have not used Instagram for five days as of today. Um, and it really has had some effects that I wasn't expecting. Um, one of the things that I found that I believe that I have or suffer from is something called FOMO. Yeah, FOMO. F-O-M-O. -O. It stands for fear of missing out, and it is a legitimate thing. Um, you can Google it, Google it, and it just really has to do with the fear or the regret or the anxiety or the compulsive behavior that comes along with feeling like you're going to miss out on something that you can profit from, from or something that you can really just, you know, benefit from or something that, you know, socially is going to upgrade you or anything like that. And I know that that is me. Case in point, this morning, you know, usually the first thing that I do, unfortunately, when I wake up, turn off my alarm from my smartphone, grab my phone. I usually have messages coming in from work, whether it's chat messages, whether it's Voxer messages, or whether it is a um, email. And that's kind of the first thing that I check in the morning. And I might just respond really quickly to whoever chatted me the night before or earlier that morning. And I'm realizing that that is part of me feeling like I'm working all the time. Even though I'm not, it feels like I'm always connected because I'm doing those things. But that's on me. I have a fear of, oh man, I better hurry up and reply to this. Or, oh man, let me go in and check and see what so-and-so's up to. Or I don't want to miss out on this. Or, oh man, what's being posted today? Or what's, you know, oh, what's so-and-so doing? What's so-and-so up to? And that has led to part of my um, smartphone addiction. So FOMO, I got it. I need to get rid of it. And today, I would say, was a big turning point for me because I had that desire when I woke up this morning to check in to work. Check in at work, see what's going on. You know, let me just check in and then I'll go on with the rest of my day. And I reached for my smartphone instinctively. It wasn't there. So I decided, you know what? Today I said I was going to start running. I said I was going to do something to start managing the stress. Got out I, and I used the c25k.com website. It's also an app uh, on a smartphone, which I don't have. Um, but it really helps you to be able to go from the couch to being able to run a 5k in between eight to nine weeks. Now, all you need is 30 minutes a day, three days a week, and you can um, start slow and work your way up to running 3.1 miles within two months. And for me today, it shows that I am out of shape. Now you start off by a brisk you know, doing a brisk five minute walk, then you do a um, 60 second jog, and then after that, you do a 90 second run. So it's interval training, and wait, I'm sorry, 60 second jog, 90 second walk. Yes, and you alternate that, or you, you do repetitions of that eight times, and then at the end of that eight time repetition, you walk for a brisk five minutes. Now, goodness gracious, I guess I was jogging, but I was going super slow. But I finished it. I feel great. And guess what? I walked downstairs when I got home, came in, did a cool down stretch, walked downstairs, went to check my email, went to check my, my chat, Voxer. There was nothing. I missed out on nothing. Does that mean that oh, things were happening without me and I'm not a part of it? And da, 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 da. No, it didn't. It just means that I have this compulsion to just check in, check in, check in. And guess what? I'm still going to put in a full day's work, maybe even a little longer, depending on what's going on today. I still have my flexibility today to be able to, you know, work, take a break, have a lunch break, you know, come outside, enjoy the fresh air, go back in, finish my work up. But I have not been on all day. So this is this is a big change for me and I'm loving it. And um, I just wanted to update you and let you know how things were going. 
and I'm looking forward to continuing um, my running. And I'm going to go back out there tomorrow, and it's the same thing tomorrow. And then by next week, you walk a little bit, or maybe you walk a little bit longer, but you run a little bit longer too. So it's really just conditioning my body to be able to reach my goal. I signed up for a race, April 6th. It's a superhero 5K run, and it's a family-friendly run, super exciting. So I'm going to have all my boys with me. My husband's coming. We're going to dress up like superheroes, and we're going to run. And I forget what the benefit is. I think it's for kids, either kids that are homeless or kids that need school supplies or a combination of all that. I'm supporting it all. I don't care. I want to do it. So looking forward to updating you with the rest. Talk soon. Bye!